Welcome. In this video, I'm going to test out if a cheap Wi-Fi extender actually works and how much would it improve the signal? So my office is up in the loft. Does it improve the internet speed and how much does it improve it? Let's find out. See that Wi-Fi icon over there? That over there? is what the problem is it's constantly in the office as the exclamation mark and can't get wi-fi for some reason can't find server things like that and i actually tried to fix the problem quite a few years ago in one of my first videos on this channel where we used the wi-fi extender but it do didn't really ex you know change anything much so this time i'm trying to give it a vol 2 or go number 2 with a cheap wireless extender seeing if this can fix the problem. So this is called the, the TP-Link TLWA860RE. If you don't know which one this is, I'm going to leave a link in the description. But basically, I have only one socket in the landing where I'm going to put this. And then because this one has the AC pass through, which means I'm not going to lose the socket, I can still use it. So let me give you an overview of where the Wi-Fi is and where I am. OK, I've got the Wi-Fi routed downstairs in the living room in the corner, which is pretty much the furthest place away from this office here in the loft so basically the internet doesn't or the wi-fi doesn't really reach over here and that's why i'm constantly getting very unstable wi-fi signal it constantly you know logs itself out and says no internet connection blah 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 and the speeds aren't as great as down in the living room obviously so let's try to fix that so first thing i did was went downstairs and actually restarted the router just to make sure that there's no bugs or things because sometimes you know the good restart, turn on and off, can fix a lot of problems. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to do the test on my computer, seeing what is going to be the test over here, and then seeing what the, the speed test results are really. So here are the first test results, 21, 90, and 20. Okay, this is a 200M connection, so it should be more than double this okay so this is test results number two and it looks like we're getting the same results or similar results a little bit slower download speed pings a bit faster and um, upload is pretty much the same so basically it should be as simple as plugging it in next to the router over there i've got a plug just behind there oh so this works is you're going to plug it in and then wait until the extended light or the power led light goes green and by green, we mean like that. Next, what we need is this TP-Link Tether app. There are actually a few different options of how you can connect this onto the router. You can do it by just using the WPS button over here in front of the um, router over there and then pairing it like that way by pressing this one and the extender at the same time but i'm going to use the smartphone because that's what probably most people would use so, so once you have signed in or signed up on this over here that's what you be greeted on the smartphone so we're going to go new devices we're going to go to range extender because that's what we have uh, plug the extender into a power outlet next to your router wait until the power dead is solid on yes it is solid on we're gonna have to press these on here wants to know our location and this as well so let's press next so all i have to do now is uh, create a password for that and then confirm the new password so select the 2.5 gigahertz host that you would like to extend um i don't know why this is there is two virgin rima medias over here we're gonna use this one over here okay and then it's gonna ask the password of your network so once i've gone next 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 um it's just gonna ask if you want to change the name of the extender so which i'm gonna do i'm gonna name it differently office extender so basically over there and then press save okay and now it's gonna apply my settings to the extender so basically now it's saying like put the extender between you know my device and the router so somewhere halfway in the middle um, and then we should be expecting these lights to be on over there okay so plug in the expect ex extender halfway so let's plug it in So it looks like we've got the one over there on, okay, all the lights are matching, so let's go upstairs and do the speed test again. You're all set? 
Okay. That's the cool thing. It says you can plug the extender a little further from the router to maximize coverage. So that's good to know, but we're going to just skip that bit because that's a pretty ideal spot for me because literally I'm in the office here. That's my PC, you know, with the Wi-Fi thing. Then if I'm looking down there, that is literally where the extender sits down there. This is our extender. So let's connect to that. Connect automatically. Okay. Next. Yes. So let's do some speed tests. Okay. So at the moment, I am connected to the Rima Media, which is like the main, you know, router downstairs over there. So let's do another test and see what what the speed is. So we're getting 18 ping and 118 downloads and then 20 upload, which is actually faster upload and ping is pretty much the same. So it probably like big peak hours. So that's why it varies a little bit. That's why we've got about 30 more, but I'm pretty happy with that speed if I got that in the office. Now I'm going to change the Wi-Fi to the uh, extender. So the extender that is just literally downstairs and the app said that you can even plug it in even further away because, you know, to get better coverage or whatever, because it thinks it's a good, good place to put the extender okay the extender is connected as you can see office extend that's what we named it and then let's do a speed test now okay so we've got one speed test over here the ping is slightly faster our download speed is like three and a half times lower and the upload speed is roughly the same let's do another test just to make sure okay second test complete and the ping is actually a little bit faster like probably four three to four milliseconds faster download speed is about three and a half times slower and upload speed is pretty much the same but slightly actually slower okay my friends so what have we proved yet again today in my experience and i'm happy to be proven wrong in the comment section please let me know if i'm doing anything wrong but Looks like these cheap Wi-Fi extenders don't actually work. They do not extend the Wi-Fi signal or make it any better. In my case, I saw the Wi-Fi speed drop three times lower. The only thing was ping was slightly faster, but is it worth spending this on the extender if to actually get lower download speeds? So the cost isn't as much of this extender. The cost is three times lower download speeds in my case can you see what it says here stable wi-fi extension so guys i'm probably as disappointed as you are i really hope this would work so if you want to know which wi-fi extension i was actually using i'm gonna leave it in the description below so that you wouldn't make the same mistake but guys let me know in the comment section below what you think anything you can add anything i'd love to know from you guys hit that like button if you found this video helpful subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys for watching and bye-bye. Next time, hopefully some better and happier news.